Okay, so here's the lowdown on PowerPoint using PowerPoint 2013. Look up here, and oh, that one is pretty orange. Gonna go with a blank presentation, nice and simple. And this is your first slide, really easy. Just click with your mouse, add a title. Let's call this creating a oops, presentation. And then here, subtitle, using PowerPoint 2013. There we go, created a slide. Simple as that. If I click on New Slide, I get the basic template. So I can put a heading up the top, and I can click anything here to add an object. I'm not going to worry too much about these ones. These are things that you do in Word as well. They're not difficult. And we will be looking at charts in detail when we do Excel. So I'm really going to be concentrating on these bottom ones down here. So up here I can say um, adding an image. Actually, no, I won't. Oh, yeah, I will. And I can do something like here, click on either pictures from my file. This one is to get pictures from the internet, and this one is to add video. So if I click here to get a picture, I can just click here, and I can select one of my pictures that are on my hard drive, nice and simple. I'll just go with this one, doesn't really matter. Click, and, and there's my picture. Once it's selected, then I can add a nice pretty frame to it, like you can in Word, there's no different. You see that? Lots of different choices to add frames, or we'll go with something a bit kinky on there. And that's it. Go back home, click New Slide. If I want to just add text, I'll type up here Heading, Advantages of PowerPoint, and add some text. etc. Um, again, I finished, click new slide, I can add a video clip, for example. I can add one from my own file, so personal one. I can add something from my SkyDrive, I can actually add a YouTube video, or I can actually use embedded code, which is with a lot of um, applications or websites that create videos, you can actually get embedded code, including YouTube, which is a little bit of HTML code that you can paste in and include on your page. But we're going to stick with sort of easy stuff, so I'm just going to go from File, click Browse, um, it just opens up into my videos. Um, I'm just going to click my uh, Ferdinand one, it's my Light Sussex Rooster. I can play it. As you see there, I can also do, once I've got it selected, I can also use any of the playback options, so I can trim it if I wanted to cut the beginning or end off, fade it in or out, can determine whether I want it to start on click or whether I want it to start automatically when this slide loads. Um, I can also apply format things to it, so I can pop it in a frame, like so, just like I can with a picture. Or, if I want to, I could actually even place it in a shape, which I guess is a little bit cool. So if I find a, a shape that I want, I can actually pop it into a shape. Yeah, probably wouldn't want to do that, but it's an option. We'll just keep it into a nice frame. Um, I'll put a title up here. Ferdinand the Rooster, there we go. Um, and that's how you can really, really simply create a presentation. If I wanted to display it and view it at this stage, I can click to the first one and I can go down the bottom here and just click my slide show viewer and just press my mouse button to move from one slide to the other, end of presentation. Um, that's the simple lowdown. I can also click on slideshow here, go from the beginning, from the current slide, sh uh, from the current slide and I can customize. We're not going to worry too much about these at this stage. We're just going to stick to the basics. But that looks boring. 
boring as can be. So really, really simply, I'm just going to click up here on the design tab and I'll show you how simple it is to make what looks really boring into something that's quite interesting. See all these lovely things up the top here? All I need to do is select one that I like and we'll go with say that one. If I click on it, and voila, my presentation is now um, using the new theme and I also have some variations on that so if I click on the drop down I have variation to colors, variations of fonts, variations on background styles etc. Um, so I can choose a different variation of it and you can see that as I click one it changes the whole presentation but I actually like the first one because I like the blue stripes. Um, if I then go back and preview that and click on the first slide, click on slideshow, now I have a nice looking slide but wait there's more. If I click on transitions and transitions will allow me to determine how I want this slide to be presented from the previous slide. So it's transitioning to this slide and you can see that says here. So I can really simply and again this is the quick and nasty pick a transition that I like so maybe choose that one. If I just click apply to all I've applied it to all of the slides in the presentation and again I'm in the top one, run my presentation just using the mouse to move from one slide to the next and that's it. Simple as that. You can get more complicated by doing things like say let's click on this one, I can click on this list and I can animate the list by um, choosing an, anim an individual animation um, but do remember that less is more and um, don't go a little don't go too overboard with some of the things but I'll just show you we'll just go with the fly in um, and you can see that each one will fly in independently so oh, I then run the presentation from the beginning click here yay yay clicking my mouse for each one and the idea with using the clicking the mouse, I mean you can actually change it and have set timings but when you're doing a presentation you don't really know how the audience is going to respond so clicking a mouse means that you can control the timing of the presentation based on your audience and the audience response at the time. You can also use one of those automatic clickers which you can borrow from the library at Chisholm if you want to. So end of presentation and that is the quick and nasty how to create a PowerPoint presentation. You can see how simple and easy PowerPoint is.